we often have written about protest and the third runway protests or opposition to King's North, so we, we pick up the subject in that way. And we also often write about business and profit and investment. But we've been very bad about talking about planning and infrastructure as a human thing, as a thing that matters to our country in the way we do in political journalism about the NHS or about foreign policy, about Iraq. We somehow see occasionally this is a subject almost for nerds, for builders, not, not really for the nation's politicians. And I think that's wrong, and I think this subject does matter. It does shape the kind of country we're going to become, the kind of country we are now, things that have gone well and things that have gone badly. And so I hope this attitude's changing. And I think maybe it is beginning to change. We've had a debate over the future of energy in Britain. People have talked about wind farms and things like that, which is related to infrastructure. Um, and we've had Lord Adonis, the Transport Secretary, who I think's really led the way on high-speed rail, on the idea that a key thing that the state should be doing in Britain is infrastructure, is planning for the future, encouraging business and spending money. Um, and last summer at The Guardian, we did a series on high-speed rail across two pages over, over three days and front-page stories, the kind of thing newspapers do for a lot of uh, traditional subjects like, like, like health service. And we had a huge reader response. So there is, I think, a public interest and demand to know about this subject. And of course, on high-speed rail now, it's become an election issue. All politicians say they want it. Um, well, I was talking to one candidate recently, a Tory candidate, who was talking very excitedly about high-speed rail, saying how great this was. Um, and then I pointed out that if you draw a line from Birmingham to Manchester, the line would go straight through his constituency. And suddenly, he was a bit less keen and started talking about the uh, dangers of a candidate running against him in the election who might be, you know, save Cheshire from the high-speed railway. So, in theory, it's easy for us as a nation to, be ca to care about this subject. In detail, it's still hard, and maybe that's where the kind of not-in-my-backyard issue really does begin to play, because politicians, like everybody else, face a double pressure. Um, the need for development, a keen to really upgrade Britain for the, for the future, and also preserving England's green and pleasant land. Um, and that's really what I think we're here to talk about tonight. Anyway, that's enough for me. Um, you're here to hear from the panel, and it's an excellent panel. Um, there's also lots more as well on, on the website. There's interviews, and there's going to be clips from this debate, so look at that too. And later in the debate, I hope you'll all join in too with lots of contributions.